Hey guys, what's up? Today I have an RU match. This one is against Charizard Takes Flight. Um, looking at his team, I'm like, he's got uh, two things weak to rocks and I want to get them up. Yeah, he's got a Sand Slash, but if he does lead with it, I can Toxic him and you know mess up his day and stuff like that. And he can't really touch me, Earthquake. Uh, maybe if he has like Knock Off, it'll annoy me or Toxic. But uh, yeah, other than that, I'm pretty confident that, you know, Glegor's the right Pokemon to lead. As for threats, I'm like, that Jinx and that Rotom are kind of annoying because Jinx is like just sort of threatening in general and Rotom is usually scarfed and fast and stuff. But I'm going to go to Ferroseed. He's actually going to Lovely Kiss on the first turn, which is generally what lead Jinxes do. Then he's going to switch out, so I'm like, maybe he's scarfed? I'm not sure. Lead Jinx is generally our Focus Sash, and maybe he's just switching out because he has, uh, like, again, I, I'm neutral to his Ice Beam, and I resist his Psychic. But I'm going to switch to Crawdont, which is the only other thing that can really handle Jinx, because I resist his Ice Beam, and I am immune to his Psychic. Um, he goes for the Stone Edge, which would have easily 2 it KO'd me, but he misses. Uh, and I go for the Crunch, over-predicting on the Rotom Cut switch in, but that doesn't happen. Uh, he's going to switch out because, you know, he doesn't, he can't 2 it kill me anymore because he's only going to get one more attack off. And he figures uh, he can save it. So he switches into his uh, Mandibuzz. I'm going to go for the Crunch again, again, thinking Rotom will come in. And then I taunt him because I know he's probably going to want to do stuff. I'm going to get a flinch on the Waterfall, which is excellent because the thing is, Crawdon, usually either I don't use it in the battle at all or, like, it's fodder because I can never really get Dragon Dances up. And this whole time, I'm like, I don't want to Dragon Dance because... This Rotom is probably scarfed and can handle me. So go for the Waterfall again. Not over-predicting and actually under predict because he now finally switches into Rotom. But I get a crit, which is excellent. I switch to Pharaoh Seed. He goes for the Will-O-Wisp. I figure he's probably choiced with just Will-O-Wisp. So he's going to switch out. Or he's not choiced and is either going to rest, which he probably would have done if he was Wrestle Chesto, or Hidden Power Fire. Either way, a good switch in is Crawdont, because he's not going to stay in and go for Leaf Storm or Volt Switch. Well, he could have gone for Volt Switch, technically. But I was thinking if he had Volt Switch, he'd probably be Scarfed, or Specs, maybe, and he just locked himself into will o -Wisp. So, go to Crawdont on the double switch. Great, because he switches into Sand Slash. Go for the Waterfall, to break his 30. I know I can take an Earthquake, probably, and I do. And then I just go for the Crunch, just... Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, now in the blind switch, I'm going to go to Haunch Crow because I figured he'd want to go out to his lead. And since I haven't gotten rocks up, he wants to get that Jinx back in ASAP. I go for the Night Slash. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And then he has Focus Slash. I'm like, no, no, no. And then he goes for ni uh, Nasty Plot. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. So I was, because I was expecting him to just Ice Beat me, right? But he was thinking I was going to be, you know, your standard Haunch Crow. And I was going to go for the Sucker Punch. And he'd just get up a Nasty Plot. And then he could leave my Sucker Punch guaranteed because of the... Uh, Focus Sash. But no, I'm Scarfed, and I end up taking him out, and that's excellent. Here, uh, I switched to Gligar. Probably shouldn't have, because um, Ice Punch, Common Weakness, kind of obvious to switch to Gligar. Probably should have switched to Ferroseed, because he's actually Scarfed, judging from his damage, unless he's, like, Fist Plate or something. But I think he's Scarfed, because he's not changing moves. Although he wouldn't want to, but I'm pretty sure he's Scarfed. Um, but I stay in, set up Stealth Rocks, just because basically that's all I need. Just to uh, help wear down that Entei a little more. I'm going to go to Metacham. I'm going to go for the High Jump Kick. Just wanting to do uh, as much damage as I possibly can. I know he's locked in the Ice Punch, so it's fine. He's going to switch back into Glade. He's actually going to go for the Close Combat, which is his strongest move. He said he meant to go for Night Slash, I believe, if I recall correctly. This battle was a couple days ago. But um, I'm fairly certain the, uh, the Bullet Punch follow-up would have been able to take him out. Because I think this... Should have done, I mean, at minimum it would have done like 66%, because again, the 50% increase in damage caused me to KO him. So, uh, I think so, but anyways, he switches into his Entei, which is the main reason I got Rocks up, because now he's at very little health, and I can switch the Pharisee no matter what move he goes for, he dies because of Iron Barb, unless it's Stone Edge, but why would you go for Stone Edge? Doesn't make sense. And I think he's probably Life Orb anyway, so... I don't know. I guess he never hit me with Stone Edge before. So I, I don't know. That was the problem too. I was like, fuck, I don't know. So I have to switch to Fair Seed. Maybe get killed by Flare Blitz, but I don't care because it's asleep. And his Jinx is already dead, so I don't need it anymore at all. Um, not for Sleep Fodder, not for Wall and Jinx. So switch back to Metacham. And uh, he goes for the Roost. I figure if he Brave Birds me, whatever, it's fine. I have a Lilligant still. And um, something else, maybe? Whatever. I just high jump kick, take him out. And uh, that's the end of the battle. So little different than usual because I actually got some good luck this time. Stone Edge Miss, Waterfall Flinch, Waterfall Crit. 
Uh, that Crawdon, like I said, just usually does nothing, but this time fucking did work. Did work, and I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure that Earthquake, I should have lived, like, guaranteed. I, I, I don't think... I think I counted it and it was, like, a really good chance to live. Because I was like, I, I know I'm not going to kill him because it's sturdy. So I'm like, no, but I'll live Earthquake, whatever. And I figured he'd set up Stealth Rocks anyways, which wouldn't have helped that much his cause. But, um, yeah. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. It was uh, nice and quick and lots of hacks. And I kind of felt bad about it because I'm like, the Stone Edge miss, okay, that was like, yeah, okay, you know, it's 80 accuracy. Waterfall hit, flinch, K, okay, you know, yeah, that's like 20% the same as Stone Edge miss. Eh, it's getting annoying. Um... And then the fucking crit waterfall on his Rotom. I'm like, that's unnecessary. That's just unnecessary. But, uh, yeah. All in all, um, hope you guys enjoyed the match, and I'll see you next time.